Yeah, the, I mean, the entire field of UFOs really exploded uh, over the last uh, six, seven, eight months now, since uh, December of 2017. New York Times puts out not one, but two articles, uh, really talking about the reality of UFOs. People have to realize how radical that is. New York Times has done nothing other than debunk UFOs for about 70 years. New York Times, Washington Post, even worse, if you can imagine. And, and suddenly, they do what appears to be a 180 and putting out articles that talk about the, the validity or the potential validity of the UFO phenomenon. Um, and so the question really has to arise, why, what, what is actually going on here? What is it with the New York Times and what is it with the organization, the TTS, uh, To The Stars Academy, uh, led by Tom DeLonge? Uh, in conjunction with members of the intelligence community to put out what uh, they have argued is genuine UFO data to the public. And, um, and look, it has to be said that uh, a lot of this information does appear to be uh, totally genuine. Uh, I think most prominently we're talking about the now famous Tic Tac UFO incident, which they uh, were not the first people to put out there. This has to be noted. I mean, the Tic Tac UFO incident was actually um, commented on as early as 2007, uh, three years after it happened. But it's really true that To The Stars Academy and Luis Elizondo and then the New York Times piece were the ones who really put that incident into the public uh, consciousness. And that seems to me to be a totally genuine UFO incident, not just genuine, but important and powerful. The implications of that UFO encounter alone are enough that they should start a national conversation about UFOs. Because that object, back in 2004, not that long ago, not only totally outperformed our best fighter jet, or, uh, excuse me, not only outperformed our best fighter jet interceptors, we're talking um, about the F-18A Super Hornets. These are incredible fighter jets. But it, it actually anticipated their rendezvous point uh, implying that this object was able to defeat the top U.S. encryption channels at the time that the U.S. Navy was using. And any craft that could defeat Navy, uh, U.S. Navy encryption, that's a, really of supreme importance. So, to the Stars Academy, in conjunction with the New York Times and uh, that, that whole team, put this story out there. Uh, Navy Commander David Fravor, who was uh, the, the key pilot in the incident, has talked very openly about this, uh, it seems to me, and, and very, very, uh, in a very upfront manner. So there are motivations here that, uh, to me, seem to be genuine, all right? Now, having said that, there's always uh, other types of motivations that are involved here. So the real question to ask is, why the New York Times? when they've debunked, 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 suddenly, boom, they put this out there. So there's one explanation, let's call it the conventional explanation, which just says, well, some good reporters saw a good story and they decided to put it out there to the public, getting you know, sufficient attribution out there and so on. Well, I, I'm not buying that explanation, not for one instant. So what I believe is the case is that this story was essentially handed to the New York Times. There was an agenda here. It doesn't have to be an evil agenda. It could be, um, there's a mix. There's always people within the intelligence community who have believed in the end of UFO secrecy. And I know this because I've spoken to them myself. Uh, and then there are people who are interested in maintaining that secrecy. There's never a monolithic uh, entity we call the intelligence community. That does not exist. So you've got a variety of uh, actors at work here. But I do believe that the intelligence community is always going to be interested in controlling the spin and the narrative of the UFO phenomenon. So one of the things that we have to assume that they will be interested in doing is portraying themselves as the good guys in this cover-up. So I, th I think that's a very big part of it, portraying this as a very key, important national security uh, matter, important for them to protect the public, and this is undoubtedly why they've been keeping secrecy all this long, and I think that's a big part of their narrative. Uh, my feeling is why the New York Times decided to take this story is, is very simple. Uh, this Tic Tac incident 
was going to come out one way or another. Um, Elizondo was talking about it uh, to the Stars Academy, was on the move, and I believe the New York Times establishment decided we are going to take the story after all, and they and not anyone else would control the narrative of this. And one of the things that they did is they put out this um, story that the, the Pentagon's program to study UFOs ended back in 2012. And I, I don't think that this is true whatsoever. And other people who've looked into it don't believe it. So, um, and then the New York Times piece also put in several gratuitous, meaningless uh, statements by UFO debunkers. You know, why? They added nothing, nothing at all to the story. So kind of a psychological placeholder for debunking. There's a whole fleet of them. Look on the ASA. Oh my gosh. They're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. Oh, I think, dude. But you've got this this train having left the station, DeLong's initiative. And um, it seems to me that this, a lot of this was Tom DeLong's energy. You know, people say that he's been uh, manipulated, he's been uh, managed by the intelligence community. Look, I'm sure it goes both ways, all right? So I met Tom DeLong a few years ago, and I'll just say he seemed very sincere in his desire to learn about UFOs. He was very interested in the topic. And um, it seemed to me that he was genuine in his desire to uh, do something good for the UFO community. That was my impression. So I, I think his intentions have been good. Now, uh, is it the case that he's been surrounded by people who have their own agenda? Well, yeah, of course, that's very likely. Does it mean that's against his agenda? Who knows? I'm not, I'm not in that circle. I don't really know the entire backstory of what... Uh, I hear so many people speculating with their opinion, their analysis of what they know is happening. DeLong's being used. Or as Lavenda says, it's all DeLong's initiative. And the fact is, I, I don't know. I just don't know yet. Maybe, maybe I'll have a better opinion in the future. But what I'm not going to do is... Uh, is jump in with some half-baked opinion pretending that is fully baked. I'm not just I'm just not going to do it.